okay i'm going to be going in with my foundation so i'm going to be doing the um face first before my eyes i'm going to be keeping it simple as per usual um nothing very very difficult so it's easy easy to follow so i'm going to dot that all over my face and then i'm going to blend it out as much as possible Blend, 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 blend. So I'm gonna blend all the way, all over. And then we are going to be moving to the next step real, real quick, because of course this is a quick beat, a quick face, a quick pick me up, quick get together. Um, a very, very quick get ready with me, easy and simple. So yeah, we're gonna be moving to the next step in just a second, which is going to be the concealer. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be going in with my concealer. I do want my under eye to be a little bit bright for this evening. I'm going to be going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. And I might use the Morphe one as well, just because I think it's a little bit lighter. And I do want to have a bright under eye for this look. And you just take a picture. For the door, please. Okay. <laughs> Got no I'm also going to go in with the Morphe one. I've decided now that I'm definitely going to add it. Let's see. Oh, I don't even think it's lighter. I don't think it's lighter. I'm going to try the... What's this one? This one is a Born This Way. Too Faced Born This Way. Maltese Gone. This is the... What color is this one? Warm Sand. I think this one is a little bit lighter. I don't know. I think it looks a little bit lighter. Yeah, so of course that's very, very heavy, but um, that's what I'm going for. So I'm going to blend that out really nicely. Okay, so actually that does look, yeah, that does look right. That's what I want. I want a bright look for tonight because guys, the look that I'm going for, I'm, I'm feeling um, some kind of way about the berry and I really want to wear the berry, a berry look. Um, we'll see, or something red, but not too red berry burgundy color that kind of um look that i want to do we'll see what i turn out with okay so guys i'm gonna go and blend that out as much as possible okay i'm gonna put a bit on my nose as well let's just sharpen that a little bit Okay, so I'm gonna blend this out and I'll be right there. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be going in with my Airspun Setting Powder and my hands are very, very heavy when it's come to this for some reason. I'm just gonna set that in place because I do not want any creasing whatsoever. I'm sure they'll be creasing anyway because I naturally have lines underneath my eyes and unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that. Lord Jesus, I swear to God. People, excuse me, there's a lot of noise in the background as per usual. I'm going to set this in place. I'm going to put on my nose as well. There we go. Just set it, see it. And then I'm going to blend it properly. I'm going to just leave that for a second and go in with my face powder. And the face powder that I'm going to use is the Morphe Filter Effect finishing powder now guys this one is a little bit darker um dark for me but i usually still make it work i think it's better for it to be darker than lighter to be honest so i'm going to just um set my foundation in place because we do not want that can you see it's a little bit it's darker i'm not sure if you can see that on camera i hope you can I'm gonna follow my nose a little bit. Okay, so I think that looks okay. Usually what I'll do, I'll use the same brush just to go over um, where I set my concealer, but I don't wanna do that because, as I said, I'm going for a quite bright under eye, and if I do that, it's gonna take down that lightness. Um, but what I'm gonna do just to make it not so powdery, although it's looking now, I'm gonna use my finishing spray, setting spray afterwards, just to kind of tone everything down, to bring everything together. Um, you're gonna see. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and contour. I'm gonna be using the Morphe Bronto Bronzer Plus Contour Kit, and the name is Showman's. Um, my contour technique is very, very simple. It's not like um, all these others that do it. The thing is, I don't, I don't really know how to do it that well. So I just go in with the darker shade in the 
bronze circuits with my angle brush and I literally just go on my cheekbone right and stuff and that's what I do just to give my face some kind of structure some kind of definition because that's what we want we don't want to just look around like a ball well some people do and that's absolutely fine I'm not here to bash anyone absolutely not but for me and of course I don't mind that look as well sometimes I do that I literally just do my foundation and I literally just go and that's it I don't contour nothing but um, on other days other evening other nights um, sometimes I do like to have some kind of shape and structure to my face apart from it just being round alone so and i think well the reason why i want to do this as well to make my face a little bit more chiseled is because my hair is actually in a ponytail so i want everything to be obviously about the face so the face needs to kind of come through because yeah there's no hair that's down to hide anything so i want to make sure that i do that so i'm just gonna blend blend i'm gonna blend down here as well because we do not want double chin not that i have double chin anyway but we want to make sure we give it that extra extra effect yeah my lips are looking so good. We wanna be flawless. Flawless. Okay, pat that round, pat that round. Blend that in. Because it's all about blending, you know, guys. Blending is key when it comes to makeup. Absolutely. If you guys have any requests, please leave it in the comment section below. And I'll answer all questions. I'll do whatever video your request i'll do that for you if you want me to do something very very detailed let me know i'm here for it i love makeup so you know for me it's very therapeutic for me and i don't mind sitting down and doing it oh my god okay the lighting is a little bit bright so the sun is going up and down so lighting wise i do apologize for that i might be looking a little bit pale and then the next minute i'm gonna be looking uh, i'm gonna be going in with the zulu palette by juvia's place this one and i'm gonna use the red one which is down here I mean, I don't even know what it is. I don't know if that's the one I wanted to use, but I'm just gonna put that on there anyway. Just gonna dab it over. I was hoping to actually do my eyeshadow before. I was hoping to do my eyeshadow before I put the lashes on, but unfortunately, I'm here now, so I'm just going to work with it. So I hope I don't get any fallout. And here, and with this lash glue as well, it always leaves that white set, which I hate. I really wish it dries clear. That would have been really nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna pack that red on. You can't really see it as much because my lashes is so so dramatic. I do love dramatic lashes, yes I do. So I'm just gonna pack that on. Then I'm gonna get a blending brush. Oh my god, I'm so stuffy, it's unbelievable, Jesus Christ. And I'm gonna get a blending brush. Not look too bad actually. Blend out the edges so it doesn't look um, so harsh. You get a seamless look, a very smooth look. I'm just going in circular motions by the way while I move back and forth like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. See, look at that eye and look at this eye. I mean, they both look good. It just depends on the okay. Okay, guys. So off camera, um, you've already seen that I put my lashes already. I just basically went under my eye and I apply a black eyeliner and then some mascara. Get my highlighter, tip of my nose, right there under my brows and my cheeks. And that is it. I haven't done anything else. So what I'm going to do now is basically spray my face down because it's very, very powerful. using my Morphe Contouring Setting Mist this one here i'm gonna spray my face down and then i'm gonna do my lips and that's i'm gonna spray my face down a little bit to cover my lashes because all right guys so this is the final look so i'm all dressed and ready to go i'm gonna try and see if we can um insert some clips of my outfits of for the evening um yes i think the hair my little ponytail which i thought was going to be very very basic and very very simple actually came together really really well and i basically to, took two um, bobby pins or hair pins or whatever you call them and I basically just clip it to the side a little bit one here and one there just to make sure it stays in place I was gonna leave it hanging in the back but I find that when I put it to the side it looks so so much better and the little bit of red at the end of the hair uh, matches the my um, eyeshadow so and it looks really really good um, because of that I didn't need to put any um, bright color lipstick or lip gloss so 
I just went for the clear lip gloss, line my lips with a brown lip like lip pencil, and um, yeah, look, spray my face down. The jewelry is very, very simple, very, very minimal. Absolutely love it, guys. If you love this look, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, guys, I'll definitely see you in my next video. God willing.